I started uh, wildlife photography probably when I was about six or seven years of age. And my grandparents lived on a farm just outside St Helens and from a very young age I had an opportunity to spend so much time seeing all the wildlife on the farm. I didn't have a lot of good uh, equipment then, it was only like a very, very basic camera. So it was more around going out just capturing uh, some of the landscapes of the farm, but some of the flowers and insects and things which were a little bit more easier to photograph. It was obviously a little bit more difficult photographing birds. When I got to 13 years of age, I got an SLR uh, film camera with different lenses. And that's when I really, really got into it in terms of uh, photographing uh, nature and, and birds, particularly on the farm and in other locations as well. My name is Simon Skidmore and I'm a youth and community worker in my full-time job. Um, but a lot of the time in my spare time I spend an awful lot of time in nature doing wildlife photography and uh, landscape photography as well. But I have a real passion for wildlife photography and spending time in the outdoors. I just love spending time photographing them and trying to be creative with the camera but capture really good images of them because I just think it brightens people's lives up seeing different um, aspects of nature and the fact that not everybody has an opportunity to go out and see all this wonderful wildlife for many different reasons so it's lovely to actually go out and photograph and film it and show other people what's actually out there as well and again a part of I suppose educating people about what's there and why it's special. When we went up to Leighton Moss, obviously that's a very protected special reserve because of the nature of the wildlife actually on the reserve. They have a number of uh, birds that you don't tend to get in many other places in the northwest of England, so it is a very, very special habitat. And with it being near the coastline as well, it's such a very special reserve, so you've got the mixture of wetland, woodland and also coastal birds. In relation to youth and community work, I, um, I run a programme called the Adventure Service Challenge Award for young people aged between 8 and 14 years of age. And that's, uh, it's a bit like a mini Duke of Edinburgh Award, but there's a whole section of it that is around caring for the natural world and looking after the planet. So there's a connection there where I have an opportunity to educate and do some fun activities with young people around birds, animals, wildlife, getting them to understand things, making bird boxes um, and taking part in practical conservation projects as well, which all helps young people's understanding of why it's important to look after uh, our planet really. The murmurations take place quite a lot at um, Leighton Moss and it's a huge gathering of starlings that um, takes place just before they go into roost. The murmurations tend to take place primarily for protection because obviously it's defence in numbers so large numbers of starlings will gather together and they will circle round for a period of time before actually coming to roost actually within the reed bed. But it's an actual spectacular sight and they can have up to about 10 or 20,000 starlings all performing this unusual dancing routine that you see in the sky, which is called the murmuration. I think it's important that we uh, spend more time educating young people about the natural world and about wildlife and why it's important to look after things and value it because it's that thing if you don't spend time in nature valuing and appreciating it when certain things disappear and if certain people have never developed a love of it or an understanding or a particular connection to a particular place or a particular animal or a particular bird why would they spend time thinking it's important to conserve it so we've, we've an awful lot of work and responsibility I think to do to educate more young people and people in general about the importance of looking after wild places. <laughs> 